Ten years after Baghdad fell to U.S. forces, the anniversary is just another work day. Where there would have been only portraits of Saddam Hussein, there are posters for upcoming elections. The fall of Saddam's statue in central Baghdad signaled that his regime was finished. Iraqis joined U.S. Marines in bringing the statue down. Hisham Chaloub was there cheering them on. Some people were carrying axes, some were carrying hammers, others climbed on each other because Saddam didn't hurt the people, he hurt the entire world. He says he saved a piece of the statue and sold it for the cost of a pack of cigarettes. The sculpture that replaced it wore away and now you can still see what's left of Saddam's foot. In this square 10 years ago, the U.S. and Iraqis toppled Saddam Hussein's statue. But they didn't manage to completely destroy it. Saddam is long gone, but his influence lives on. It's in the way institutions operate, in the fear that some people still feel, in the desire for revenge. Now there are different things to fear, including the almost constant threat of bombings. At the Iraq Museum, looted in 2003, the bullet holes have been repaired, and a lot of the artifacts returned. But 10 years later, the most valuable pieces aren't here. They're in the central bank. There isn't enough security to open the museum to the public. And outside Baghdad, the looting continues. We don't have big pieces still missing from this museum, but perhaps we have uh, big pieces missing or um, um, going out of the country by the illegally digging from our sites in Iraq. This is the big problem that we face right now. A lot of Iraqis believe there's looting by the government as well. This young artist drew an eye aimed at the green zone to tell Iraqi politicians people are watching them. I made this piece of art to send a message to Parliament, to say, shame on you, to say, we are aware, we can see you, instead of having demonstrations and chaos on the streets. I drew this eye to tell them we can see them, even though they can't see us. His protest lasted four days before it was taken down. It's an immensely more free Iraq, but not as free as a lot of people would like. Jane Araf, Al Jazeera, Baghdad.